Can you say with me? Praise the Lord. For blessing to see our kids and, or how our new generation, yes, uh, is serving for our God. How teens and little kids, little children serve in our church. Praise the Lord. You know, honestly, I was worried uh, last month about the service. And not because uh, our kids are incapable, but because it's something new for us, yes? New experience for our congregation. And I'm grateful to God because He is amazing God. And I'm grateful to God for our kids, for our teens, for parents and caregivers who help us, who took a part in this children's worship service. The topic, the main topic of our service today, as you understand, is worship. The main topic of my reflection today is worshiping God. What does it mean or what God expects from us? How we need to worship Him? And, you know, as you heard by our friend Chase, he talked about, he, he, talk, he shared story and some scientific facts about birds. And from birds' perspective, worshiping God is inseparable part of their essence, yes? Of their existence, of their life. They, they, they cannot say, okay, I have bad mood, I will not sing today, yes? Yeah, they don't have it. This is a part of their nature. They worship God because it is something that it is given to them by Him. And even sinful of, uh, sinfulness of our world was not able to take such gift away. So, but what about humans? What about humans? Let's look with me at the following text from book of Psalms, and today all, all uh, my uh, quotes will be just from book of Psalms. Can you open with me book of Psalms chapter 143 and verse 3? 143 and verse 3, and we will read, oh, sorry, excuse me, 145, I was wrong, yes. Okay, great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And his greatness, what? Is unsearchable. Powerful words. And David shows a good starting point for worship. Praising God implies reflection, exaltation, and response to his holiness and greatness. All of us unite in praising our God. We come to this point throughout our week. And if I will ask you, how was your week? Great. I will, somebody say, great. Somebody will say, not super good, yes? Not perfect. For somebody, it was worry about something. And we came to this worship. We get our daily experience that we came to church with a praise of the Lord. But, question what I have for you, my friends, and I would like to pay attention to this question. How deeply, how deeply we are or are we able to submerge into the worship? You know, a lot of problems distract us from God or from this point or from worship. You know, maybe some of you have a problem with, with your car. Do you have people with problem with car? No? Good. Maybe we need to change tires and you think, oh, it's freezing. Yeah, it's dangerous weather for our state and I need to change tires, but I, it's a little bit expensive for me for now. And this is out of my budget. Maybe, my friends, we have conflict with our kids. With our children. Yeah, we, we, we went through um, Christmas Eve. We went through all these holidays. Nothing changed in our relationships. 
Maybe our grandkids forget completely about us, and that disappoint us, yes? That worry us. Oof, why? I did a lot. Of. We felt pain in our body, yes? And, be, and we become worrisome. I will, I, I, if I will ask that question, I believe most of you will raise your hands. Do you feel pain in your body? Yes, even I yesterday visited a chiropractor because I had problem with my back. You know, I, I was not able to come yesterday and today, and praise the Lord, God healed me. My friends, we have a lot of pains, and we worry about it. What's going on with my body? Why it, it happened right now? You know, I, I see and mention that when you're close to 40, Something changed in your, in your daily routine. Something changed in your, these feelings, you know. You don't feel, you, you every morning you wake up. I don't know what happened next when I will be close to 50 or 60, but I believe it will be better. <laughs> yeah, maybe some of you had a po an appointment with doctor during this week, and you received... Not the greatest news, yes, it forces you to worry. Maybe you are waiting for your surgery, and that again worry you, worries you, and you're thinking about that. Maybe our bills got higher than we expected, yes? And these possibilities are countless. Possibilities that distract us from God, from worship God, and lower our sight. Experience that belight of a God. God becomes just another thought that fills us during our worship. However, Psalmist David says that God is great. And we read about, it, yes? He is great. We have in our Bible verse, in main Bible verse, oh, wait, can you go back? Because, looks, oh, sorry. It was my mistake. Yeah, great is the Lord. He is great. He is not little. Yes? He is not teeny. Not mandate. He is great, my friends. This is the message of our service today. He is great. Because when I have a lot of problems in my life, every day, every day problems, and when I stay here and sing some songs, God is just one of the thoughts that I have inside of me. One of the feelings that I have inside of me. But when we hear, when we worship a God, what we need to have? Just one. He is great. He is above all of my problems. Exalting His greatness is the center of biblical worship. John Owen, a Protestant priest, he says wisely, we should not allow ourselves to be satisfied with vague ideas about Christ's love, which do not give any knowledge of his holiness to our minds. We must have to understand an understanding about who is God. Who is God? Who is my creator? We see that even birds, they understand who is the creator and praise him. Say amen. God did not give us permission to distort his image or change his name. He opened to us who he really is in the Bible. And he expects joyful worship. John, one more quote by John Stott um, describes what the real worshiping uh, is. Genuine worship, genuine worship is a reaction of God's self-revelation self in Jesus Christ and in scriptures. It is a reaction that happens after we reflect about his essence and his mightiness. Contemplation about God's causes explains and expires to worship God. Genuine knowledge of God will surely bring to worship him. What happened after my daily reading 
when I, when I, when I, when I'm reading Bible, when, when I read Bible, what happened in my life? Okay, yeah, I need to read this because I have plan. Yeah, or, yes, I need to read chapter one, second, oh, third, oh, I cannot, yes. Or maybe I, uh, my daily devotion, oh, again, same again. Yeah, I don't have power. But uh, what is reaction for this moment of self-revelation? God for me, God for me. This is a desire to worship. Yes? Very strong words we have that tells us what worship is. Experience of worship is a reaction to his being and at the same time it is beneficial to our own being. This force us to analyze our attitude towards worship. It is not just songs. You know, sometimes when we are talking about worship, we are just thinking about songs. Piano, guitar, ukulele, or some, something what we have. Okay, songs, three, two, four, oh, three, a lot of, one is not a lot of, yeah, we are thinking what kind of songs, from hymns or from somewhere, but worship, this is not just songs, yes? Worship, this is a whole service, yes? This is every moment, every word, even every prayer, even offerings, this is a worship too, Yes? This is even our presence here. This is a worship of a God. And we need to remember that fact. It is words we say and the prayers we say, the scriptures we read, the music we produce. This is just for Him, not because I am super good. Yes? <laughs> okay. It was not for my... Um, good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to say joke, but I see this is not good for me right now. Okay. Not too long ago, I had experience, or I got to talk with one person. I met with that person who said me some interesting words about worship service. Uh, you know, that person say me, uh, said me, um, Pastor, you know, I'm interested in worship just for one reason. Oh, I, I was really intrigued. intrigued. <laughs> Why? What, what is reason? And I expected for right answer, but the answer was when I'm on stage. I'm interested in worship just when I'm on a stage. <sighs> you know, I started worrying about that. What's going on with that person, with his day, daily routine? And for such people, worshiping God does not become an experience where it is a reaction to God's self-revelation to them. It is just a result of their talent, yes? They would like to praise their talent, their desire to play, their ability to sing or something. This is the result of their talent, desire to worship God themselves. To worship self. My ego. And the book, whole book of Psalms cries out about greatness of God. Every chapter, every psalm, every verse will say, God is great. But I'm worshiping myself. It is saddens to see that people who are part of congregation but come to church only when they participate in the service. Our human ego must humble itself before the birth song. Bible is full of praise. Word about his greatness. And um, the brightest book would be the Psalms. The, authors of, uh, the author of Psalms search height and depth of human feelings. You know, when I had some troubles in my life, when I had some, uh, yeah, I can say troubles, problems, it was the best book in my life. When, 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 yeah, when you have maybe some pain or you have some disease, the best book is a joke, yes? But when, I, when you have personal feelings, when you have your heart is broke, what do you need? You need to understand that God has special words for you, yes? And that book has a lot of. 
You will find everything. Yes, what you need for your, for your feeling. They show us how to show our emotions before God. They give us three main categories. Three main categories in which we can exalt God, God's greatness. His words. Okay, first, we have His words. Next, we have His essence and His deeds. I would like to touch all of them, but it will be really short. God's word in His self-revelation to us, yes? We do not worship the Bible, yes? Right or not? Or maybe some of you bow your head before Bible. It was in the Orthodox Church. They have some, some tradition. Uh, even in Jewish traditions, they have uh, kissing the Torah, you know, or touching this, uh, I don't know, this finger, how does it call? But anyway. Huh? Pink, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we are not worshiping Bible, the Bible. Through Bible, we get information or we got what? It tells us about God and His nature. And I would like to read one Bible verse with you, book of Psalms, 56, and we will read just two Bible verses uh, from the chapter, um, verse 11 and 12. Yeah, it will be good illustration of what we are talking about right now. In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. What can man do to me? I must perform my vows to you, O God. I will render sing offerings to you. For you have, and 13, for you have delivered myself from death. Yes, my feet from failings, that I may walk before God in the light of life. And as you know, that the longest, sorry, I was, oh no, I was right, yes. Um, I have one more, more Bible verse from Psalm 19, but what we have? You know that longest psalm in the Bible is a reflection of how the word of God, uh, uh, how the word of God instruct, uh, control our lives. No matter what service would take place, first of all, we need instruction from His word. Yes? Because through that experience, we get hope, promise, and God's nature is revealed. And that is what causes us to praise him without bible we are not able to get information about god yes yeah we can get something from nature but we need to have that word logos yes we need to read that because through that we have his own revelation for us this is the first reason to praise our lord second reason Psalmist pays, it, pay, pays attention to God's essence. He is given all this reason why God is worthy of our praise. And I would like to read three Bible verses with you. Uh, Psalm 145, Psalm 21, and Psalm 99.3. Um, yeah, we will start from 145. 145, 8, 9. Please open with me. Yeah, it's good to have Bible and open, good experience. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and His mercy is over all that He has made. Do you, do you hear that? Amazing God. Ha, 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 after that, how you can find somebody or something to worship? Just he is. He is a perfect. He is a gracious, merciful. This is what we need right now, my friends. One more Bible verse. Psalm 21, 21, 14. 21, 14. Okay. <gasps> Sorry, we don't have 21, 14, we have 13. <laughs> Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. He has power. It's the reason why we need to worship him. 
One more Bible verse, 99.3. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Holy is who? He is holy. This is a reason to worship Him, yes? This is a reason to worship our God. Psalms opens to us certain, uh, certain behind which we can see the essence of God. There are countless reasons why we should praise our God. But it, it is uh, our daily experience with God opens to us reason to praise God. Every day, if I have my worship, if you have your worship, and you have that habit to have worship, <laughs> daily worship, you will see how many some events or small things happens every day and I need to praise Him. Sometimes I don't understand right now. I, I, I came to this conclusion in, 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 some, in, some, in some period, sometimes in months. Oh yeah, it was really powerful. I even didn't mention about that. It was like norma for me, yes? It was my routine. But in that routine, God did something. The change completely changed my life. Or even saved me from, from some troubles. Without intimate, in, intimate relationship with God, our worship will be boring and irritating. This is a, this is a law, you know? This is the same happened with, 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 uh, with our kids, with our spouse. If you don't have good relationships, that means you don't have this something secrets, you don't have this intimate atmosphere, uh, some conversation, you do not spend time together, you will not have good relationship. And <coughs> this is what we have. This is what we need to have. You know, sometimes after years, I tell, I, some days uh, I, I share the story with you that some um, a man came to me and said, you know, I have problems in my family. What's going on? My wife, she said that our relationship, our relationship is done, is gone. We, we, we didn't have something new. We try it, he told me. But when I talked with that person, with his wife, she told me, oh, this is a boring relationship. It's hard because we don't have conversation. After work, he came, just sit and watch TV. Beers, movies, nothing more. He does not have attention. He pay attention on, on my problems, on my worries. Boring. We... we we had dates when it was just before, before a wedding ceremony. And, you know, from that perspective, I understood, yes, that person did not invest in their relationship. Same, same thing happened with our God. Because he's person. And praise the Lord, he's person. And he's amazing person. Without intimacy, relationship, without this connection, we, our relationship, our Bible readings will be always boring for us. Irritating. Even bothering us. Okay, next. These, they see his strength and praise them. But, the, you know, sometimes what I see, uh, what, 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 one more idea. Sometimes you see Christians, when you met that person, she or he will say, Pastor, I have, God bless me, you know, he has power. He, and and they, will, they will share stories by stories with you. And after that, you will inspire, yes? But some Christians who are anointed by it, they get anointed by this kneeling down before the glory of God in our daily routine experience. For them, it's really hard to praise Lord and to be inspired by these stories. I don't know why, like, we know the reason, but 
if we know our God, if we have this information, how we can say, boring with my God. You know, I'm so, so joyful that our youth, our teens, our kids sang. Yes, they did it. Did you like songs or not? I believe we will repeat one more time in some Sabbaths, years. <laughs> they wanted to sing, you know, and I was really glad to hear it. They wanted to sing. They did their best, I told you. They learned the lyrics and music. Even, even Rebecca, she does not speak English. She, does not, she is not able to read, yes? She's just four years old, but she memorized all lyrics. And all our kids, they did it. It was really amazing. They, they are able to do that. And they, were, they had desire. And, you know, once I was in, uh, invited, uh, once I was invited for, for a youth meeting. It was youth night, and they invited me. And, you know, I just came. They said, hey, pastor, hello. Can you preach? You can start. You know, without songs, without prayers, you know, you need just to preach. This is not seminar, this is not lecture. Yeah, I would like to have this experience of worship with you. And my idea was to suggest them, guys, would you like to sing some songs? Pray? You know what I heard? What I got? Like response? No thanks. We don't want it. I was surprised because I understand that we need to tune up our mind for listening. We don't want it. And I was surprised and again asked them, why, why not? To which they replied, it is boring. Realizing the greatness of God and his closest to me cannot, cannot make me say, I don't want to praise because that is boring. And last category where we can praise our God is his deeds or his doing. Let's look Psalm 105 and verse 2. Uh, yes. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his name, holy name. Yeah, again. God, God's deeds must be made apart from God's character, even though they closely intertwine. One of our human egoistic problems is that we get fascinated by our own words or our own deeds. We accept our surroundings for granted. When I am playing the piano, I created something beautiful, so listen to me. But question what I have for you. When God played his song to you this morning by the birds singing or even in the rain, what did that arose in you? Let's look for our one more Bible verse, one, uh, 111 and verse 2. What we have? Great are the work of the Lord, studied by all the delight in them. Collective worship service must attract our attention towards the deeds of God because we're really in, in native and for, for, forgetful. So we can exalt God's glory in three categories, yes? First, there are His words, His essence, and His deeds. And the calling that we hear today is also through, uh, through that book, Book of Psalms. And I would like to read our last Bible verse for today. If you have power, please open Psalm 37 and verse 4. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Can you read again with me? Delight yourself in, your, in, the, uh, in the Lord. Yeah. And he will give you the desires of your heart. This is a calling by God to our life. God wants us to be comforted by him. So experience of knowing God would manifest itself in certain deeds. Scripture says that God 
waits for an answer or reaction for human being. More so, we must react, react to his deeds and this law we must fulfill. God is calling us, my friends, to react to a specific deed. It is always in a way of ministry, allowing to be joyful, to take comfort in him and praise him. God would like to worship, like the worship to become part of my spiritual experience. For my own personal as well as the collective group worship that came together to worship. And today, my dear friends, my church, I call you, or my call, I call out to each one of you today to know God and praise Him because He is worthy. Amen? Amen? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, your great Lord, you're amazing, you're holy, you're merciful, and we praise you, just you, and hold our service, not because of we are so good, because you are perfect. You are inspire us. Your essence, your words, your deeds inspire us to praise you and worship you. Please, give us that spirit of worship, of praise inside of us. And bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.